what is going on you guys welcome back to my channel and if you are new and you've never seen my face before hi my name is ash and this is my channel living ash i am beyond excited to be on camera today and just sitting down and talking to you guys it has been like a week and a couple days like literally probably like eight nine days but it's felt like months for me i don't know like if you're not in the groove of posting like for me i try to upload at least twice a week it just feels like it's been forever and i appreciate you guys for coming here right now let me know in the comments if you're a returning subscriber if you're new this is your first time ever seeing me hey welcome i would love to welcome you down in the comments below don't be afraid leave a comment down there for me now guys we have to handle some business okay because there's some things i have to say first off i have to just make a point to tell you guys how amazing you all are as supporters i've received numerous texts comments just people expressing genuine concern for my health and safety during this time in florida we got hit by a hurricane that was absolutely devastating for so many people and families it was terrible okay and here okay where i live south florida it was not too bad over here okay we really didn't get all that you know flooding and it was like a little bit here and there but we really were good fortunately for my family we're all safe good there wasn't much to like recover from here but my prayers and condolences go out to the families that were affected by that tragic hurricane hurricane ian was terrible honestly and it was really really sad seeing all the videos and pictures i wasn't even in the mood to film last week because we were prepping too here because there were tornadoes and things like that happening it was crazy the rain and when i film i like to film when the sun's out i like natural lighting so it was gloomy it was dark it was rainy it was not a good vibe but i have to say thank you guys so much for your concern the dms the comments they mean the absolute world to me i saw them and i'm so glad i'm able to sit here on camera today and just be here and thank you guys and if you are any of my supporters if any of you guys are from florida and were affected by the hurricane please comment down below let us know that you are okay and that you're safe and how you're doing because i do truly care and i know a lot of my supporters care about you guys too so again thank you so much like i see every text every dm every comment it really does mean the world to me seriously and thank you guys so 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 much for your love your care and your support so let's get into it because there's been a lot of things going on and i kind of just want to make this like a life update video show you guys some new products and things i've been loving and just kind of sit down and talk with y'all and chill um one thing i'm gonna let you guys know right now and if you're an upcoming youtuber you want to do this full time you just you don't know what we go through right you just you just see the things okay and a lot of people just don't know I filmed this video already. <laughs> I filmed this already and I'm like, it took me a minute, y'all. I had to get back into the vibe, okay? Because I already said a lot of these things and I like to do it one and done. Why? Because I'm genuinely speaking. Imagine I'm on the phone with you and I said what I said. I just told you a story. I'm like, hey girl, da -da -da, blah, blah, blah. And then you're like, girl, I didn't hear anything. The story's not going to be the same. But, you know, YouTube, I'm not on the phone, I'm on the camera, so I have to repeat it. There was something on my head, <laughs> okay, in the first video. And that really, really made me upset because there's no way to edit it out. It was like some, like, gel from my hair and it was so annoying. So, I couldn't post that one. That couldn't be the one I present to y'all, okay? I was just not happy with that. So, I'm repeating myself in this video, but bear with me because I'm going to say how I said it before because I genuinely have some things I want to talk to you about. But, let's do some housekeeping, okay? You know me, I'm always wearing a fragrance. Today, I'm wearing Toka Bell. I love Toka Bell. This is very uh, princessy vibes, okay? I'm just feeling like I'm in Beauty and the Beast right now, even though Toka has a yellow one. This is reminding me of Bridgerton. And funny thing, I don't watch Netflix. I don't really watch TV shows. I don't really watch movies. But since, you know, a lot of us were dealing with this hurricane, can't really go outside, can't really do much, I started watching Netflix. And I'm more of a YouTube girl, but you know, I got into Bridgerton. So let me know in the comments down below if you watch Bridgerton and what your thoughts are on it. Because at first I was like, mm, it's a little bit of a slow start, but now I'm kind of liking it and we're getting there and the episodes are really, really long. And for my very short attention span, I was like, how am I going to get through these long episodes? But so far it's been pretty good. So let me know if you guys have been watching, how you guys like it. But Toka Bell is giving me that Cinderella-esque, very pretty feminine girly vibe. I love this. This is my scent of the day. 
Honestly, I'm an oversprayer, but today I did not spray that much. I sprayed my wrist twice and I was smelling it. Like I was, you know, making some food. I was doing some stuff and like I was smelling myself. So I was like, okay, like she's y'all today's been testing. The SD card got full. But I will say, she's really dope. I believe you can only get these in certain stores. I I think you could order this one online. The bottle is gorgeous. I wasn't always a pink girl growing up. Well, kind of like pink as a youngin. And then teenager type early adulthood. No. Um, but now I like it. It's very pretty. It goes well with my little pink display in my room. Uh, this one is so pretty. Look at this bottle. You gotta get your hands on this. So pretty. You can wear this every single day. You can pair it with other fragrances. Toka Bell is so good. And if you don't know about Toka Fragrances, please, please check out Toka Fragrances. They are so, so good. So that is my scent of the day. Leave your scent of the day in the comments down below. Let us know what you are wearing. Girl, put us on. Because I know y'all girls be finding out about stuff and then we don't gatekeep over here. Okay? So, we're bringing the tumbler back. Okay? This is my favorite Starbucks tumbler. Drinking my water. Mmm. This is my first water of the day. I'm trying to just drink my water, I'm trying to stay consistent. Make sure you drink your water. I'm looking for a fall version of one of these. It doesn't have to be Starbucks. It could be anything, but this is one of my absolute favorites. It's so gorgeous, y'all. The camera really doesn't do it justice. Mm. So, updates really quick. Why I haven't been on here? I just haven't been in the mood. Like, I tried to get my mood up, and I think it's because I haven't been taking my vitamins. Like, I don't want to ever get on camera, and I'm not, like... Sometimes I'll be a little low. I don't want to be that way, but that's just, like, the day is the day. You know what I mean? But last week, I couldn't bring myself to get on camera, and I don't know what it was. I just wasn't feeling it, and I just didn't want to do it. And today I was like, oh, I gotta do it because I really want to. You know when you want to do something so badly, but it's like your body is like not cooperating. And you know, like I have to sit here and I want to talk to you guys and I want to be full high energy. And I've been, I don't want to like fill myself up with like a bunch of things and just like coffee and all that. So I just kind of took a little break off. I was on social media, but I didn't post. But I'm happy to just sit down and talk to you guys. Sometimes I feel like I don't know what I want to say, but I have a few things that I wanted to share today and I'm going to do some content planning and things like that. So let me know in the comments down below what you guys want to see. If you have any type of suggestions, I'd love to know. But it's just, it's just a mood thing. Like my mood wasn't there. Like last week it was gloomy and I, like I said, like me and the sunlight are besties and there was no sun last week and i think that's really what drives me to be kind of low during certain times so that's what happened but the sun is out today i'm really excited hopefully i can get work done early and like just go walk around outside and like do my thing life updates like i said i went to pretty little thing showroom in miami thank you so much pretty little thing for the invite crazy they actually gave me so many good pieces so many pieces you can check out on my instagram um i'll put the picture here and also follow me on ig if you have not and if y'all there's been some fake pages following me on ig i hate that i literally don't do it like i will not do it with the if you like no followers no nothing like no like it's scary i mean it's like you don't know nowadays who is following you like i don't like that but i went to pretty little thing and they invited me out there tried on some pretty clothes and i'm gonna be posting on my vlog channel at the ash life you can see like my full day there and like the more in-depth process this is one of the things they gave me put a little thing water bottle and i did post some pictures did that that was literally like the monday before the hurricane was supposed to hit y'all and i was a little nervous because i was like oh my goodness like i shouldn't be going because miami is a little bit further from my house by about like an hour it was like an hour it took me two hours to get home from there that day because of rain it was crazy here you guys crazy next i went to tj maxx and i took you guys with me and i haven't um taken you guys there in a while but i didn't go there for hygiene stuff or body care or perfume i did go look for perfume but they didn't have anything good. I saw somebody get replica bubble bath from TJ Maxx and I was jelly. So I ran to a bunch of different TJ Maxx to see if I could find anything close to that. And no, the TJ Maxx and Marshalls by my house is just not looking good right now. Hopefully towards the holidays, we're going to get a little bit more stuff. But I found some really cute apparel, okay? Very nice outfits. Like these are not cheap clothes, like great quality material, high end luxury brands. Like I'm telling you, like, look at this. I'm going to show you guys right now. Check it out. Hey guys, we are going to TJ Maxx real quick. I want to see if I can find some perfumes. I actually just came back 
from seeing one of my friends so we're out and i was like let me just stop at the stores um ulta is over here so we're gonna just see i just want to see if i see a perfume in here that i like so i'll let y'all know if i see it okay i have not been seeing any good fragrances lately pretty much like the same stuff that i always see when i come here oh i'm so disappointed let me see this side here bunch of jimmy chews here some stuff that's just always here literally the same stuff y'all what in the world okay y'all so i didn't like the perfume options they were trash but i went ahead and tried on this dress look at this y'all I wasn't even gonna pick this up, but look at this. Body. Body yaddy yaddy. Are you kidding? Look at the back. Are you serious? Stop. But yeah, I'm getting this, y'all. It's from House of Carlo. This is so cute. TJ Maxx for the win. Okay. Um, vacation me please, even though we're about to be in fall, but like vacation me please. Like, where are we going? <laughs> All right, so I got this dress right here. It has some pockets, which is kind of dope, but you can tie it like in the back. And then, um, I don't know, let me show you. Ooh, hello, Zoom, but face giving. Okay, but look, so this is real cute, y'all. This is like day out. We could go to brunch in this, like, you know, but then also, all right, so it has a tie here. You know, you can tie it in the front. Hold on, let me, let me show you. Hold on. All right, let's put the phone down. We can tie it like this. We can be cute. If you want to tie it to the front, you can. You can tie it to the back. It don't matter. All right, so here we go. Somebody for me. But look. Here we go. It's cute. It's real cute. I might get this one too. Classy, you know. We can dress it up, dress it down. Put on the shades with it, you know. Everybody want to call me bad and bougie. So we're going to be bad and bougie with the shades you know yeah real cute i forgot what brand this is from but you got the you know all right let's go try on something else all right so we got this top one i can't show y'all too much because i'm gonna paint but it's real cute again it's from house of carlo <laughs> so classy y'all like are you kidding me i i'm gonna show you more but i can't so here we go so so cute i don't know what pants i would wear it with yet but hello <laughs> all right so we have a bodysuit but i'm not gonna get it because i don't like the detail right here it looks kind of cheap um i don't know it's supposed to kind of go in but i don't know maybe my boobs are too big but yeah i don't know i don't like that but uh, it's cute it would have went with some stuff i have but maybe if it had maybe a bigger size it's not super tight on me but still i don't know y'all i'm not buying it if i don't love it and i don't like this part all right we love this so this is really cute this is perfect for like if i have a meeting if i want to do videos like anything like that very cute people talking in here but you already know they have having the time of their life but this is cute i wish i could show you guys the full thing but i don't have a bottom but yeah this is really nice super nice like it reminds me of like a wedding like a wedding that i could be in or something but i don't know these are really classy i like to have like little pieces like this so yeah you can't tell me that dress wasn't giving loved it i spent the whole day in tj maxx that day it was so awesome it was so much fun and i wanted to just show you guys some of the clothes that i had i should have did like a try on haul on my blog channel at the ash life um but i just ended up putting the clothes away because they were just sitting in the back for way too long now let me say this okay so i have everything written down and this is the feminine hygiene tip of the day okay and this is what i want to really talk about because i really like it now this is a tiktok made me buy it type of vibe okay this soap right here and i'm gonna have you go run and get it this is definitely a try and buy because it's affordable and it's everywhere okay you can probably find it at walmart target wherever you can get soap okay dial and i know a lot of us like okay dial what is it no this is the dial the yellow bar i'm going to show you what the bar looks like because this is the one i've been using i've been using this for about a week and a half now i really like it this is the bar that i have you can see obviously i've been using it 
it smells like kind of like when you go to the doctor's office and you use their soap but it's a antibacterial soap what I call here living ash loves to call it a base clean okay this is the soap you use before you use anything else and this what the lady did to convince me was she talked about how she doesn't even wear deodorant anymore after using this soap and with me when I hear like no deodorant I'm like okay what is it let me know because I always talk about the fenugreek the chlorophyll uh, drops you can take because I don't like deodorant personally like I just I wish we could just not wear deodorant and a lot of us can like I'm always looking for like a natural or just a remedy that just doesn't require it okay what can I do so I've been using this soap and I really like it I really do like I feel like I'm just super fresh and clean out the shower and you know I always love being fresh and clean like who doesn't so I've been buying this and my mom actually put me on first and then I saw the TikTok maybe a couple days later. If I find the TikTok, I will insert it right here for you guys to see. Dial soap. Go and get it. I have a, I had some questions about what does it look like. This is the holy grail of all soaps, dial soaps. If you're stinky, if you're dirty, and, and you have to constantly use deodorant. I haven't used deodorant in all I, decades. I don't know when the last time was I used deodorant. I swear by dial soap. This is the kind you get the gold bar, Okay. Um, I had someone comment on my page and they said they were a scientist or something. And they said every time that they did the antibacterial soaps, they tested them, dial always won. But not just any dial, the gold bar dial. So this is what you need to get, okay? Right there it is, gold bar. And when you open it, listen, I stay, I stay stocked and loaded on this stuff, okay? But when you open it, this is what the bar looks like. If you have acne, if your teenager has acne, you have body acne, you break out in a lot of rashes, get yourself a gold bar soap. Put a couple drops of um, Guru Nanda tea tree oil, because this is the most potent. This is what it looks like. The holy grail of all soaps. Why do people stink? Because they're washing with the wrong soaps. If you want to use your body washes after, go ahead. Go ahead. But this, the holy grail. There's no other soap on the planet that compares to this. This clears up acne. It can grow your hair back. It does so much stuff. And when I tell you I stay locked and loaded because for a while there it was very hard to find. It's slowly coming back. <laughs> but I'm not taking any chances. So for those who wondered, this is the one that you want to get. But this soap right here is affordable and if you struggle with any type of body odor, you just want something that's really super clean and nice and you can just use this with your washcloth, your rag as your base clean and then you can go ahead and use any type of like perfumed body wash, whatever you like to use afterwards. This is it. Like I am always looking for a new soap and I, just knowing that this is dial, like duh, you can probably even get this in the liquid form too but the lady, I think she recommended the bar soap. So I got the bar soap, okay? Like I'm gonna get what she said. <laughs> <laughs> so I ended up getting this like it a lot feminine hygiene tip of the day this dial bar soap really really good the lady literally said she does not wear deodorant so I wanted to get on here and talk about this for the longest but as you know I wasn't on here for like a week and a half or a week and a couple days and um, yeah I've been waiting to tell you guys about this quickly I just want to thank community 66 they sent me a whole bunch of products this isn't sponsored by them they just gifted these to me they sent me a hydrating gel moisturizer um, a hydrating cream cleanser for normal and combination skin a resurfacing night cream uh, this is a hydrating eye cream and an everyday mineral moisturizer SPF 30 so if you guys don't know about uh, community 66 I believe they are sold at Sephora now so if you're looking for any new skincare to try out community 66 and I love the packaging it's so aesthetically pleasing um, so thank you so much for sending this over to me now you guys know me I'm always down to get a new product and here is a quick little story time about about this new baby right here so I went over to Ulta Beauty because it was right next to the TJ Maxx so that I was at okay and I was like oh yeah like Tula released a brand new skincare product and I'm obsessed with anything that smells gourmand anything that's this bakery vanilla anything like that I like it you know it you know this if you follow me you subscribe for a long time I'm into those type of gourmand fragrances so when I saw that Tula had this release, I went to Ulta. But Tula, if you don't know, the setup of Ulta is in the back of the back of the back of the stove, okay? So, you know, I was walking and I looked and I didn't see it. I walked again and I didn't see it. And I'm the type that doesn't like to ask for help, okay? Ask for help. Let somebody help you, okay? Admit that you need help sometimes because I was walking. I'm like, I don't see it. Am I like, or do they not have it? 
child i just said okay fine i asked one of the sales associates they led me directly to the front of the store okay because they knew the girlies was going out to go get this okay so this was in the front of the stuff when i walked to the front of the store this was the only thing they had okay only one one left so I grabbed it and she was like yeah you better grab it girl because I don't think we're getting any more this is Tula skincare it says take care and indulge it's called banana pudding I don't even like bananas but I love me a banana muffin anything that's like a baked banana cake type vibe um I'm gonna get it it's called probiotics and it has superfoods um it's it's actually banana and lemon peel and it gently buffs and polishes the skin so it's an exfoliator it's their new bakery line okay so it's the magnolia bakery tula skincare i'm gonna take it out for you guys it's so giving happy birthday vibes look at that packaging look at this it's so cute and for fall of course everyone's looking for something really comforting and cozy now i haven't actually used it because i just bought it but it's for your body tula has also like body cream and other things like that too oh my goodness i can't imagine if they like release a body cream for this one because hello now this is really good at first i was like mm, it might be giving me like banana laffy taffy vibes but it's really really good like the fragrance is on point very heavily fragranced it's like uh, like sometimes I get like really nice open the oven aroma filling banana pudding baking on a fall morning okay then other times I'm like mm, this is very artificially banana like but I had to get it me I wasn't going to pass this up especially if there was only one left in the store uh I really like the scent it's really nice limited edition it gives me something to try something new to use I like Tula products so I thought this was a perfect fall pickup so again try it out and i'm gonna tell you this pause the video screenshot it whatever you gotta do get your hands on it because again this is limited edition there was only one left in my store so obviously it was like sold out um i don't know if you're able to get it online if you can i will link this down below for you to just click the link get this for yourself asap rocky um but it's really nice and it's new it's new it's new it's new it's new so i always want to tell you guys about new stuff so tula thank you for the new body care item banana pudding they always get me with some type of gourmand stuff like obsessed so update right now so i've been using my jergens lotion i bought this a couple videos ago and i've been using it a lot y'all i really like it i think the scent is cool mm, it does smell really nice this one's a deep conditioning shea and cocoa butter blend i feel like this could be i don't know like all my jergens could be just a little bit more moisturizing this one's the best one out of all the jergens that i that i recently purchased um but i like it i've been using it a lot it's just like my go-to when i just get out the shower i just grab it and i use it so again i got this at walmart if you haven't seen that video i will link that video up above wherever so you can check it out uh jargons it is what it is like i like it so i just want to update you guys on my opinions on that this is your encouragement your reminder of the day get some water drink it it's so good for you especially if you are on a weight loss journey i am still on my weight loss journey y'all still got some body fat to lose and um i'm giving myself grace i haven't been weighing myself because i don't know sometimes the scale gives me like mm, bothers me so i've just been kind of going off of how my body feels just watching everything that i eat but i still like last night i had this molten lava cake from trader joe's with some vanilla ice cream. like i still eat the things i like okay everything in moderation like we don't want to develop unhealthy relationships with food i do not want that okay because you can have carbs just everything in moderation okay mm-hmm it is October 3rd and I'm really happy because um, I'm going to start this new challenge and I'm hoping that you guys will start it with me too. It's called the 30 Day Happiness Challenge and I'm going to put it up here on the screen for you guys to see. Um, like it's super simple. I've been looking for little things that I can do every single day that it can bring me a sense of joy. I've always grown up hearing like find the joys of every single day because there's always a little joy in every day. But especially like last week, I was struggling to just find 
like joy in my life right like i was like what makes me happy like i just genuinely don't feel that up to it i don't feel that happy i don't feel in the mood i'm just straight up honest with you like you and you're like why am i unhappy you know so i was like what can i do this month it's a new month new opportunities new progress so i'm starting this challenge and it's very simple okay there are very small things that you can do every single day something just something that you know could keep you accountable and bring some happiness into your life so like it's already the third but um we can start from one we can start from three whatever you want to do like the first day is clean the bed sheets right like that makes me happy coming home and it's a nice clean bed then you got two right uh listen to music from your younger year then you have three which is like meditate right so just finding you know something you can do where you can bring some peace into your day just taking time to like center yourself so i'm gonna be doing this for the next 30 days and of course for november 2 i'm gonna find another challenge so you are very welcome and very free to try this challenge out with me let me know what you guys think um because i know there's times where you could feel alone right like you're the only person going through something in this life and trust me i'm telling you and i know you've probably heard it a million times but it is so true you are not alone a lot of us go through our own daily struggles every single day things that we you know are dealing with and going through and sometimes you think people don't understand and a lot of times some people can't understand right and we just that's what makes us feel like we're alone but i'm telling you i see you i hear you i feel feel you like the energy in this world like i feel it i'm so big on energy like it doesn't matter it doesn't like i'm telling you like the sun was not out last week and i i just physically was not up to it so i'm really really big on the vibrations of life and just i don't know like i'm just so in tune with myself so sometimes i'm too in tune with myself where i just it just takes over so all i'm saying is you know i'm trying my best and i hope that you guys are doing the same i appreciate you guys for coming here and watching my channel and you know just being constant viewers and if you're new please don't be afraid to let me know in the comments down below that you're new and that you you know just found me whatever i'd love to welcome you if you're a silent viewer make sure you give the video a thumbs up it really helps my channel it helps me to know that you like the content that you like me of course and you know just i hope this video is helpful to you and i just wanted to get on here and talk to y'all again i want to thank you so much for your prayers your concerns your comments all of that it means so much it was just very heartwarming to me that people actually care like you know and of course you pay attention like i live in florida and, and I, please pray for those that were affected by this hurricane it's it's still you know a lot of stuff going on there's still so much damage that was done and so much recuperating to, to be done and it's just a lot so please 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 pray for the those people in florida for us in florida even down here in south florida keep praying for my family i'm praying for your families and i'm praying for your mental health and all of you guys that are watching fall is here so there's gonna be a lot of shop with me's and a lot of videos so be here for that okay make sure you subscribe turn on your post notification bell so that you get notified every single time i upload i know this video wasn't super long but it was like a little update and just a little bit of a chat with you guys so that i can just you know just get back to the group of things thank you so very much for being here and i appreciate each and every single one of you for watching i love you guys and make sure you follow me on instagram and tiktok um everything is down below in the description and i will see you guys in the next video bye guys